Hey, welcome once again to Hack It Out. Today I'm going to do a review over the movie Guardians of the Galaxy. Now I know this movie came out uh, almost six months ago. I'm just not doing a review, but that's okay. It's a great movie. I like watching it, so I'll do a review on it. So Guardians of the Galaxy is another movie made by Marvel Studios in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it's part of the Phase 2 of the Avengers lineup. And Guardians of the Galaxy, they're a group of loners who I guess you could say are more anti-heroes. They're not necessarily straight up good guys. I mean, they've each had their fair share of uh, crimes or bad things that they've done. But it's a movie about them kind of banding together to go against a greater threat. And to risk spoiling anything for those of you who haven't seen it, uh, again, kind of like with my other reviews, I'm not going to go into details on some of the things but I'm just going to jump right into the review so as far as the story goes for the movie um, I give it 35 points because I feel like it has a great story there's really um, nothing that's confusing and it, it, it just makes sense you have this overall bad guy who's wanting to get in control of this infinity stone which essentially can like wipe out a planet wipe out a race so you've got the guardians one of them is wanting the stone kind of for profit the other one is wanting to get it for the bad guy and then another one is wanting to capture one of the other ones because of a bounty and that's how they kind of all come together they're all obviously trying to get together to prevent this guy from getting the stone so i mean the story it, it makes sense you know you got your usual superhero story in a way as far as the acting goes i'm going to give it 15 points because i think that all the actors do a great job in their parts they play their roles really well um, they make it believable. Even the ones who are CG, like Rocket and Groot, they, the voice actors, Bradley Cooper and Vin Diesel, do such a great job of capturing that character and how they're supposed to be. And the directing, uh, everything is really well done. There's not, not a hindrance of those slow motion action shots like Michael Bay tends to have. And there's not, uh, not a ton of like lens flares or anything like J.J. Abrams does, which I, I don't necessarily mind those lens flares, but there's, it's just, it's a good balance. The movie is directed really well by James Gunn. As far as accuracy goes, I feel like it's unfair for me to, to really grade it for accuracy because I don't really know much about Guardians of the Galaxy. I've never really read the comics. I honestly didn't really know anything about them until this movie came out, so I don't know really how it how the movie stacks up to how the characters really are in the comics or anything. So I feel like it would be unfair if I gave it points for being accurate or took points away or anything like that. So I'm just going to be neutral, be unbiased, and just give it a zero. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, that means I'm not giving it any points. I'm not taking any points away from it either. So I'm just going to leave it as a zero. As far as length goes, I thought the movie was a great length. It didn't really, It didn't really feel like it was dragging or... Uh, moving too fast. I thought the pacing was pretty well done. Um, the movie didn't leave me wanting more or wishing I left an hour into the movie. It was really great pacing, and I love movies that are like that. I, I could go and sit through a four-hour long movie. If it has great pacing, then I I'm going to enjoy it. As long as I'm enjoying myself, I'm not going to feel like I'm sitting there too long. Same thing goes for a movie that's you know, maybe only an hour and a half long. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of short for movies these days, but as long as it's got good pacing and it doesn't feel like it's rushing through, I can enjoy it just fine. And this movie, it, it was like that. It wasn't too short. It wasn't too long. It had great pacing. So I give it 10 points for length. And as far as the ending goes, um, it had a great ending. Uh, it, it made sense. It wrapped things up pretty well. And um, most importantly, the ending didn't feel rushed, which is what's perfect in my book. I, I don't like endings to be rushed. I know, like I said before, if an ending is terrible, it can ruin the whole entire movie for me. Even if I've loved the movie all the way up until like the last 30 minutes, if those last 30 minutes are just god awful, movie is just dead in, in my book. But this movie was not like that. It had a really great ending. I like the way that it wrapped, wrapped up the movie and kind of threw little kernels in there that you can tell are going to grow into the sequel and what's going to be kind of explored in the next movie, which I look forward to. As far as like anything being shoehorned into the movie, uh, I didn't really feel like there was anything shoehorned. I mean, there every movie's got little things that, you know, you might, everybody, it's kind of unfair because that's kind of an opinionated thing. Everybody has their own opinions on, oh, well, that shouldn't have been in the movie or that should have been in the movie or, you know, that wasn't necessary or that should have been necessary. They should have put something like that in there. 
Uh, but for me personally, I don't feel like anything was really shoehorned in here. I feel like uh, there wasn't really anything unnecessary and there wasn't uh, anything that hindered the feeling of the movie. So I'm going to give it 10 points for the fact that I didn't feel like there was anything shoehorned. My overall rating for Guardians of the Galaxy is I give it 100 points, which is an A+. Marvel has done a really good job with their movies in their cinematic universe. I, I loved all the Phase 1 movies. Uh, so far, Phase 2 seems pretty good as well. And I look forward to Avengers 2 and then even Phase 3. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with everything. But this movie definitely didn't disappoint, and it's probably one of my favorite movies of 2014. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Guardians of the Galaxy. If you have not seen it yet, uh, it's on video now, so I suggest you go out and rent it or buy it. Uh, you could probably just buy it because I'm sure you're going to like it. I've yet to hear anybody that I know of that has seen it dislike it. So go watch it. If you have seen it, maybe this video review will make you want to go watch it again. Kind of makes me want to go watch it again. Thank you guys for watching my video. Please like it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if there's a movie that you'd like to see me review, just leave it below in the comments. Doesn't necessarily have to be a new movie. It could be an older movie. It doesn't matter. Anything that you'd like to see me review, just let me know. And I will see you guys next time.